Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to show everybody how to tame an animal real quick. Um, it's super simple. All you have to have is animal friend three. Um, and then if you want to be able to help others tame animals, um, you need to have nine charisma to be able to share the animal friend perk card because it costs three charisma for each star. So three times three is nine. And then the simple way to um, tame an animal is here's a level one house cat. It spawned in by itself with no enemies or no other house cats. And for house cats, you aim your um, weapon at it, hit X, and then it will send it to your camp. I'm not going to send it to my camp because I already have an animal there and I don't want it to get replaced. Um, house cats, dogs, um, and um, like rag stags, uh, brahmin, things like that, they all get uh, tamed with your gun. Then there's animals like snally gasters, death claws, mega sloths, um, and uh, uh, mylert kings, and things like that, that you actually put your weapon away and you run up to them to uh, tame them. Uh, the best way to know if an animal is tameable, obviously, if it's by itself. That includes other dead animals. So if it spawns in, but there's other dead animals or things with it, nine times out of ten, it's not tameable. If it's fighting other animals, it's probably not tameable. Um, when it comes to the animals that you have to run up and give a hug to to tame, uh, the best, uh, um, the only way to really know if it's tameable is to run up to it and see if it tries to attack you. Um, but for the most part, any animal that is tameable, um, they'll still be red, but they'll walk back and forth and ignore you. No issues whatsoever. They won't run off and they won't try to attack you. Um, when you do send the animal to your camp, this is my current temporary camp. As you can see, my um, my camp box is over here, away from my structures and away from my uh, purified waters. Whenever you place down what your my you camp like um, no. box, this is actually where your animal spawns out of. So, you need to make sure that it's not inside your building because they can spawn in and get stuck in your floor and die. And then when the animal is out, for some reason, they do not like like purify water or purifiers. Uh, they don't like generators. Um, they don't like um, water. So, if you're near a water um, source, make sure that your box is far enough away from your source that your animal won't walk into it because any non-aquatic animals that go into the water can and will suffer radiation and die. So it's a little bit of a setup at first um, but after that you get everything placed you shouldn't have any issues if your animal um, oh your animal that you're trying to tame it has to be half your level or lead or less, not least, less. So, you know, if it's a level 21 death claw, you need to be level 42 to tame, kind of a thing. Um, and then, hang on, where are we getting shot at from? Ah. Uh, um, and then, um, if they are lower level, like that level one house cat, you literally have to find somewhere on the map that enemies don't spawn or take the chance of putting it inside your house. Uh, if you do take the chance to put it inside your house, see how close these uh, floorboards are to the ground. You would put your camp box like as on one that either has some of the ground coming up through it or as close to the ground as possible. So that way, whenever it spawns in, it doesn't... Um, get stuck in your floor and then um, you know you can replace your animal so if you get one and then you find another one you like you can replace it and you have one or two options to do whenever it gets to your camp it will replace your other animal 
and you can either have somebody there already uh, ready to take your other animal or I recommend you claim you uh, kill your old animal because if you don't they can get into a fight and your newest animal has the chance to be killed by your old animal uh, you have to stay in world until your animal arrives at your camp it can take up to 30 minutes depending on where you claimed them from this little guy here I found him um, right about here in the cranberry bog and it took him about uh, I want to say 15 minutes to make it to my camp Last night, I helped a Nuka gal tame a death claw. The death claw was uh, right here in this area, and her camp was over here. Um, and it only took it like 10 minutes, and it scared the crap out of me because I was over here, uh, right down here at this bend, looking for actually her camp is like right here on the map and I was down here at this bin looking for another animal spawn and the stupid death claw ran right past me it scared the crap out of me because I've Where never actually seen one of the animals take off oh, like run past really? to go to its um, owner's camp player. so yeah that was fun um, places that I like to go to look for animals is uh, the South Mountain Lookout, back here where the messenger is going off, is where you'll find the animal. I always kill the Scorched and then walk on over to see if there's an animal there. I spawn in at Cranberry Glade to um, in the parking lot where we just saw the cat that I was showing y'all could be tamed. Um, an animal can spawn there. And then, um, let me pull... Because I got to make sure I get as close to the marker as possible. Okay, so. Um, right about here on the map. Um, is where an animal can spawn. I haven't had an animal spawn here in a while though. I've had a bunch of like super mutants. And. Um, like hordes fighting each other. And then right over here in this area where um, I showed you that I got my my Lurk Hunter, right across the way, right here, is another good place. <clears throat> and then scroll on up to Abby's Bunker, and you're going to head north towards the, um, sort of north is towards west on the... Uh, compass symbol I, forget. <laughs> I can't think at the moment um, it's going to be right about this area um, <clears throat> and then you head north some more go west slightly and right here in this bend is another place uh, I'll go back hang on so this place down here when you're headed north you will see a broken down shack with an 18 wheeler and a broken down truck <clears throat> inside of a fenced area I find a lot of mega sloths there. Um, up here in the ridge, there is a pond, and the pond has a crash of vertebrae in it. And then to the left of the vertebrae, uh, along the bank, is where um, you'll see an animal. But if you're not careful, there's also another spawn that is like literally right next to it. Um, oh, remove waypoint. It's like seriously right here, and I haven't had a tameable animal spawn at this one, but I have had some high level enemies spawn there. So I always recommend maybe going to that one first, seeing if anything's there killing it. And then, um, over here at Palace of Winding Path, you spawn in. There's a spot here. Here. Um,. Uh, it's actually slightly down. It's like right about here, here, and then here. <laughs> and then right here at Pioneer Scouts, you can spawn in. And um, a little bit above where the mole rat horde is at. So right about here, you can find um, an animal spawn. 
And then along the forest area, along this outside road here, and right around Darling Sisters Lab, is where you can find um, lower levels animals to spawn for lower level players, or if you want like a cat, a dog, chicken, things like that. So the first spot is here. And then you have one right about here. Here. You actually have two right here in this area. Uh, when you leave Darling Sisters Lab, head towards um, Tyler County Fairgrounds. There will be a broken down truck on the left hand side of the road. You're actually going to go to the right because the broken down truck has enemy spawns and there's never an animal that spawns there. You'll have two spawn points. Uh, one is along the road by the Rock Ridge and um, an animal can spawn there. And then if you keep on going to Tyler County Fairground, there's the Overlook Picnic Area. You can go to there and um, possibly find an animal there. Then there's one right over here. And then right down from Deathclaw Island, right here where the water um, makes the peninsula. Sorry, I can't talk at the moment. My nose is stopped up and I bit my tongue, so. <laughs> And then the 81 sign. And last but not least, another area I like to check is down here by Hunter's Ridge. So you got one here, and then you got one literally right up the road from it. So um, those are the places that I use. I'm going to actually um, sign uh, in this video. And then my next video that I post will actually be me going to each of these individual places so you can see where I'm fast traveling to and how I get there because I don't want this video to be any longer than it already is. Hopefully this helps you find an animal that you want. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will get to you as soon as possible. Have a great day.